taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds. What's up, buddy? And taste buddy. <laughs> it's the taste bud show. My name's Joe. And I'm Sal, guys. Thanks for joining us, as always. Yeah, all right. Here we are. Here we are. We're having an interesting <laughs> talk before we fired it up today. Oh, yeah. We have we have a lot to cover, actually. We do have a lot Because I also want to prep them for what's to come. Yes. Just, just do me one favor. Just do that, and I'll, I won't mention it again, but I just... To start off, you should know when you sit. Just make sure this Even thing on the mic... Make sure this, back? Make sure this thing on the mic is straight. It's straight. Otherwise, I'll start freaking out. But even even when it's behind my back. Yeah, I just can't see a point, bro. It, listen to me. This... See, I don't want to live this way. I know, but... Swear to you. But you know what's weird? This sets off my OCD in the other way. Oh. I need to see the point. This oh, looks you never brought messy that up? to me. You never brought that up before. I, it's not as bad as yours, obviously, but I do not I do not like that. I did forget my glasses. You're going to have to be doing uh, the heavy reading in this episode. All right, fair enough. You guys are like Bert and Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said that the other day. <laughs> oh, maybe we should do that with the merch. Oh, merch, wait, 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 merch wait, 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 is wait. coming, by wait, the way. Wait, 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 it is wait, in the wait, works. Wait, wait. Stop. We got to start over. We're like a month from our We got to start over. Why, babe? Because we didn't do the chant. We got to start over. We got to do the chant. Well, it, the episode just, didn't start. Yeah, just do it. We'll just do it now. Huh? We, we ordered in a good groove. All right. All right. Fine. <laughs> I tell you the truth. I don't exactly be B A T T L E battle buds. That, not to, that's not till the battle. T A S T E buds. Pause, buds. Okay. You don't think we should just start it again? <laughs> no. All right. All right. Fine. Here we go. This is the official start of the show now. <laughs> Welcome to T A S T E Buds. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if people are going to like that as much as you, but didn't you tell someone, didn't you tell me I someone came up to you and said, dude, you got to The other that. night I was at the stand and after I got off stage, <laughs> funny thing to be that a guy came up to me. Him. I don't remember his name. Sir, if you're watching, I'm sure you're watching. You watch the show. Uh, I, I, I don't mean to insinuate anything or slander you in any way. I think he was a little tipsy okay. <laughs> because he really was like, you got to keep the chance, man. <laughs> the chants are awesome. And I was, I, it was like so passionate. I was like, all right, man, right cool. But he was a nice man. So, um, uh, or woman, however he identifies. I don't know. I shouldn't assume. But the point is, is a nice person came up to me and very passionately said, uh, you got to keep the chance, and so that's the Word. chance. Yeah, okay. I like it. I like it too. I that's like it. That's the first too. time we did it, or no? Since that's, the, since inception, we forgot to. We did it. Uh, that's sort of you sort know of the third time. You know what? Sort of a soft third. Don't even worry about answering I'm that question. About it. <laughs> no one needs to know. Now, in the news, Grimace has been declared uh, that he's a taste. That like McDonald's is declared he's a taste bud. I want to know something. Has he always? By the way, speaking of Grimace. Pimp's color pattern, color story today is perp on perp, babe. Yeah. It's, I don't know if he can get a, you know, a shoddy, but he's got a, a deep, nice purple tee on, and then the glasses are 100% purple, and that's the lenses and the frames. Yes. What? Pimp rocks, ma mad stylish. He's yeah. stylish. Yeah. This is the first time I've ever used mad as an adjective, swear to God. I'm usually <laughs> very against it. Wow. I was after yeah. that, Pimp and, uh, and I just think it sounds silly. Pimp comes in. I'm glad with, I brought uh, it out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Pimp comes in with a dash of Andre 3000. Hey, yeah. a little okay. bit of Andre 3000. It's a, it's a little Pimp mixed in because yeah. he's always pimp. in bold, yeah. bright patterns and glasses. I and agree. Stuff. I agree. Now, did you do that because of the grimace news? Um, I'll take. I'll just lean into it. Sure. Yeah, I did. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> good Before good. we jump into this, because this is it is a lot to talk about today, but we we'll keep it going. But. Uh, did you ever see, I think it's, I'm going to get you, sucker. What, I think the pimp is a pimp in that, uh, and he's walking and he's in uh, uh, platform shoes, and they they are, the heels of the platform mm -hmm. shoes have, they're fish tanks, and they yeah. have goldfish in them. That's yeah. the movie, right? Yes. D this pimp, yeah, I, you might, yeah, there it is, there yeah. it is. So yeah. check this out. So one time when I used to own this bar, I threw this Studio 54 party, and... Um, 
it was pretty wild. We blacked out all the windows and we put out like a big velvet like rope out, outside and uh, we had cages inside and we got all these, we got a couple of like the old guys from the neighborhood bar, like because it's a neighborhood bar too. Mm -hmm. We got some of the old guys that you should post up at the end of the bar. We got them to agree to have us paint them head to toe a hundred percent gold shimmering gold and they danced in the cages all night oh. i swear to god as as people the dj was playing disco classics the place was packed and there was just old full gold old men dancing in cages and they were into it oh yeah yeah my buddy my shout out bob bobby Ilya, he's the best um is there he, a video this photo and we had the truck outside with the lights going in the air and everything wow. and i dressed i went and i got those shoes from a Halloween warehouse in like, you know, the one on by Webster Hall. Wow, that really? R.I.P. Yeah. Uh, shout out Halloween warehouse. They're closing down. Shout out Halloween warehouse. Shout out Halloween. It's still shout there out as free of candy. Now. Shout out ringing people's bells that you don't know. That's right. I That's got right. so hammered that uh, Q had to take me out of there, but I could not walk because I was wearing platform shoes with goldfish in them. The goldfish were fake, <laughs> but there was water and everything. And How I much almost they broke a heel. I had to rent them. You had to rent they, yeah, them? Yeah, they, they, they were like, uh, I don't even know why, like a hundred bucks to rent, but like it's it's it was like a thousand dollars to own because I guess they're so Okay, niche. and you almost broke a heel like he does in the movie. He breaks a heel oh, in the I movie. Don't, oh, he breaks the fish tank open in the movie, doesn't he? Well, the heel, yeah, because people are yeah. making no, fun of No, no, I mean it. my, I, I'm sorry, I almost broke my ankle is oh, what I Jesus mean. Oh, Jesus, yeah, because I was Yeah, because I was really walking on like six inch platform Look fish tanks. Look at that, man, Jesus Christ. Did you Christ. start the night off doing well on the platform heels? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 yeah, but that was one of those nights because uh, I do have the photo documentation where I was carried out, you know. But, <laughs> but on a night when the old guys are dancing and, and their bodies are painted in gold and in cages, like I'm gonna have an extra drink. <laughs> <laughs> How did you coerce the old man to go with the gold paint thing? Yeah, so the bar I worked at was like a neighborhood. Everybody, it was like everyone knew everyone's name. They equate this guy to Norm. Okay. You know, so it's just all it, all it was. I didn't even have to convince him, probably. He's probably hanging out. And I used to throw these theme parties like every three or four months, like prom night 1984 and, uh, you know, like, I don't know, all different stuff. I had Yacht Rock night and right. things like that. So he probably was just there and was like, I had the idea. And he's like, I'll do it. Like, it was like that. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, all right. All right. Well, there you go. The uh, so I do think you guys need to discuss what DeRosa was saying before he started with the wins and losses. Yeah, that and this, yes. and then we jump, we'll launch. All right, let's let's wrap up Grimace first. Did did they quick. just name him a taste bud, or he has he always been a taste? They're bud? They're saying that it's always been a mystery. Uh, they're not. They're he, not. So he's supposed committing to, like to it. They're saying it's an option. It's a possibility that he's a taste bud. I don't believe that he's a taste bud. I don't believe that he's, as they said, a milkshake uh, or just your favorite purple blob. I, I believe he's your favorite purple blob. I don't think he's anything. There's no purple milkshake. Uh, taste buds are not purple. But, yeah, the but idea can... of making a taste bud, which would be a excised from a human tongue, walk around is disgusting. Uh, you know. Yeah, but if you look at it, like our, I mean, tongues are kind of pinkish, but. Maybe they want to go pink, but if you look, are those things on our tongue like? Is that just him just blown up those little? Uh, that is, by the way, that is a ten out of ten tweet for McDonald's. It's always what is grimace and never how is grimace. That he is probably, a grand he probably, slam. Tweet. He probably walks around with that on his on his shoulders. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, he's a taste, but well, think about this though, right? What do you do when you taste something tart or sour? What's a grimace? Did I just grimace? Yeah, that's a grimace, grimace right now. Grimace. Yeah, you just yeah, you grimace. Yeah, is that a did yes. I did I just grimace? You did, because I think that's what a grimace is. But I realize in the moment that I have never, I can't back it up. I I couldn't tell you why I think that's a grimace. Isn't a grimace like? Uh, it's a gr It's a fi yeah. It's a yeah. It's an unsatisfactory. It's so, an unsatisfactory look. I never uh, made that connection. Yeah, an ugly, twisted expression, typically expressing disgust. <laughs> So they they made this character that is the epitome of disgust. I think may and it, look, and, it, and, and 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 they're selling food. There's a <laughs> there's a slight chance that the connection here is they looked at it and they said, "What is that?" Or or somebody went, "What is that?" And they went, "Oh, let's call him Grimace. That's like a funny name because you know." Or it looks like if you ate this, you would grimace. Maybe, but I do not believe for a second that this is that he is supposed to be a taste bud. He's furry. 
Come on, man. I, I got to weigh in on this guy here because I got to tell you something. Uh, of course, he's backed by a brand that is a, that is a king of all brands, but that is a sad attempt from the marketing department right there. That is as little work. That looks like they came in in the morning and someone was like, you know, Johnson's in today and we need to present him with the characters. And I someone mean, was like, yeah. today? Yeah. That's today? <laughs> and then he took a fucking marker and just made a circle with yeah. eyes. And he goes, yeah, this is uh, a Grimace. <laughs> like, it's so yeah. low. It's so like... Yeah, the guy went like A this. five-year-old could have done it. The guy it. goes... The guy goes, what's th what's this? He, the guy, the the boss went like this. He looked at it and he goes, he goes, what's this thing's name? And the guy goes, uh, <laughs> Grimace. <laughs> I don't care what the real story is. Spread that story because that's going to be the new. It's story. outrageous because if you look at the McDonald's mascots outside of the clown and the Hamburglar, he's looked like a, pur you a got purple a, pile of shit. You got a, you got a bird who you have to assume is later chopped up and turned into the McNuggets. Right. Yeah, what's she and then doing there? Mayor McCheese, his head is a quarter pounder, which you eat. It's all f***ed you know up. This is literally a criminal. I just decided I'm getting McDonald's to eat tonight oh for the second time this week. For the second time this week. I can't do it because I, I had a show in Oneonta last week, and on the, my way home at 1.48 in the morning, I pulled off the road to get McDonald's. I got oh, it let me tell you this story. Week. I got a story to tell you, too, on that. I got it earlier this week, and I just, oh, shit. You can't Damn get it, it again. Why? But look, look at I'm the, going to. Look at this Motley crew that they put together. First of all, the chicken, I haven't seen her in ages. She's she, barely, she's still, I haven't seen any of them in ages no, except Ronald. No, but I know Mc, Mayo McCheese. I know the burglar, Hamburglar, obviously. You know Grimace. <laughs> that, that, fuck, that female chicken, <laughs> someone, a, yeah. it, uh, he does look like a butt plug as well. Um, that chicken, I don't know her name. And I honestly, think she was called she's, Birdie. She's like the, is she like Pete Best? You know, she's like the Ringo? No, she's in. No, she's the offense, Ringo. Ringo. She's God bless it. you. I, I, I would trade my life to be Ringo. Offense but. Ringo. Oh, I can't stand Ringo. Oh, really? I'm not a fan of the Beatles, period, but Ringo really rubs me the wrong way. Not, I, know, I don't I'm not hate him as much I mean, as Lennon. Lennon's my least favorite Beatle. Wow. Oh, I can't I can, stand Lennon. I can Lennon. understand why you wouldn't like Lennon, because um, besides the fact that he was like, you know, this genius, he did have, he, I see, can see how he could rub people the wrong genius? way. Genius? Have you heard the solo records? Yeah. Woo what about those hey, Yoko the ones? Where she's, yeah, the listen Yoko to the McCartney ones. solo records. You see where the brains in that band was. Yeah. I mean, George Harrison's "I Got My Mind Set on You" is 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 not a great song, and that's better than any John Lennon solo record. It, is Imagine is not Lennon? Ugh. Yeah. I mean, if yeah. Oh uh, yeah. well, look, you can't <laughs> jump off a roof to that yeah, song. No, I know. And I, and, 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 I, and I and I well, give peace a chance. Stinks. Yeah, so this is Christmas. Stinks. stinks. He stinks. No, I like this is Christmas. So Instant is Christmas. Karma is a good song. Instant Karma. And Cold Turkey is a good song. How does Cold Turkey go? I don't know. I just remember it's like pretty good. It's like Cold Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. It was good. It's pretty it good. It wasn't too. anything like that. All you did was try to sing the words cold turkey. It goes turkey. cold turkey. Her name is Birdie McDonald's. Birdie, I remembered. Wow. But her last name is McDonald's. Is she does she have no, ownership? Birdie, where do you Birdie I, I don't know that that's correct. I think it might just be saying Birdie. Oh, oh okay. Birdie the Birdie early the bird. early bird is the first identifiably female character used in McDonald's. McDonald Land commercials introduced in 1980 to promote the company's new breakfast items. She's oh, a wow, yellow bird wearing bird. a pink jumpsuit, flight cap, and a okay. scarf. Okay, and there was no chicken on the menu in '80. The McNuggets had not emerged yet, so that's interesting. How that's do you know very, that? Because I remember when McNuggets dropped, babe. You think I don't remember that? When did McNuggets drop? I would guess '82. It was big, right? That was big news. We went to McDonald's drive through. My friend Frankie Gennardi said. Uh, I'm going to get Chicken McNuggets. And I was like, what is that? And I was very familiar with McDonald's <laughs> right. at this point. And he got it, and he gave me half of one of his. And Blew I my was balls just, off. Yeah, I was like, this is a game changer. How is, how is the McNuggets still so delicious? It, it's, it's held in such good favor still. Mm -hmm. When... Everything we know, we have transformed the the persona of health and food ten times over since eighty one, and people are still like, "Let me have this pink sludge 
It's well, it's not pink. The, the pink slime they, they they redid the recipe. It's, yeah, I know. It's that. definitely way more real meat now. But, it, but I still I, I had McDonald. I have them like once, twice a year, and every time I have it, I'm like. Oh, I I'm love the to taste have of this particular chicken. I'm about to have them twice this week. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Yeah. But when I, I leave, what are you ucking about? Yeah, but man? clockwork. What are you ucking about? I felt What's sick the matter? After. Did you feel sick? What are sick? you ucking about? Because you're proud and sad at the same time. What's the matter? What are you, are you above this? You won't eat this? Babe, talk oh, no, to me I'll about this. It. I talked to Stefano the other day. He told me he ate a whole well, pizza mm, by mm. himself. And he's going through some stuff. <laughs> A whole pizza. That's so funny. And then I go, dude, me too. I ate nine tacos for dinner, and he didn't respond. I mean, he really will just leave you hanging yeah, once he in a while. He has to give you something back. Yeah, I mean, come on, Nine dude. tacos is... They were small, okay. but they were hard That's shells, so I felt a little guilty. Sober? All right. Sober? Yeah, I haven't been drinking all week. Well, uh, how does that work? You just... <laughs> they were small, dude. They were really small. How does that work? You step up to the counter and say, nine... No, no, I made, the, I made, a, I made a kit. Oh, you just made the whole box? You ran the kit? I made a pound and a half of meat, oh. which I've ate about half of it. Okay. So about 70, three, two, two, three quarters of a pound of meat. And then the 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 El Paso shows I got, shells I got, were, it was the 18 pack, and they're small shells. So I just, nah. you know, but you sit there and you, you, you. I thought you bought them. That's different. No, no, Did no, you no, eat no. nine consec or did you like take a half hour break? I come like back, seven, eat another one back. I ate like seven. And then I was like an hour later, I was like, eh. And then I ate two more. When I was younger, I used to work at like the uh, a pizzeria and stuff. And I would bring it home like, or I would order it or bring it home with me. And, or if I ever ordered a pizza, I would order it like in the day. And then by the night, the pizza was gone. So I'd eat eight slices over the course of the day. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do that now, but like I used to, that's what I. Just I would do that. I would I, yeah, I'd go, I would go to Pizza Hut and get a large pan pizza, meat lovers, and I would eat like four slices at, as soon as I got it, and then I'd put it in the fridge, and then I'd eat four later cold. Isn't it crazy for a guy who, I, I love pizza, I worked at a pizzeria, I've had the best pizza, but just like the McNugget, if you throw Pizza Hut in front of me, I'm like, oh, Pizza Hut. It's, and you can't get it in New York anymore. There's yeah. no Pizza Hut in Manhattan anymore, so I have been deprived of Pizza Hut for years at this point it's been years i will i when i finally have it i'm gonna go nuts on it dude i'm gonna go nuts on it i'm gonna eat it for days but so do you think that the, they introduced birdie and 80 and then they introduced me oh, no there is a pizza Hut express but they don't deliver to where i live they, they introduced birdie in 80 yeah and then in 81 they introduced the mcnugget and we haven't seen birdie again no 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 birdie's birdie's definitely been around but when, I'm just when saying do you it see wasn't birdie nowadays. It wasn't weird that when they introduced her because there was no chicken on the menu yet. Is what I'm saying. Oh, Fry Guys, remember? Oh, those? Yeah, remember the Fry Guys? They I were miss different. A fry Guy. Why were they? Uh... I love a Fry Guy. Wait, oh, remember the captain who was like the representative of the fish? I think. No, that's McCheese. Oh no, you're no, right. The, look at the pirate captain. Oh yeah, who the hell is he? I think he represented the fillet of fish. Yeah. Maybe. Oh yeah, and the little cheeseburgers that would come out of the treasure chest. Oh, oh yeah. man, McDonald's and they talked, right? is like, so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> McDonald's is so awesome. Dude. Do you remember the original Happy Meals when they came in those plastic like submarines and stuff? No, they came in oh, the box was, with the with the arches for that handles. Was second, babe. Really? Uh, McDonald's originally Happy Meals. They came in like plastic submarines. Uh, just look up. Uh, uh, Look up original Happy Meal. Yeah, look up Happy Meal 1981. Do Tim. they still? Because they, I will tell you, this is what we got. They don't do the Happy Meal anymore, right? They don't do the the yeah, box they still with the do arches. It. No, they put it in like a bag. It's it's it like, sucks now. And dude, you get you know what you get in it apple slices. Ugh, I feel so bad for kids today, dude. They get nothing fun. F, F that. Remember dude. this? The, the Transformers. Honestly, the I had all had a those. kid. That kid's getting apple slices. I'm not. I'm not giving him what I ate. Well, uh, I mean, you know, I mean, once in a while, a little fun. One nah, of the saddest. I'm things, contemplating not even giving my children sugar. One of the saddest things I ever heard was my buddy, his daughter turns five, I think, and I go, "Would you? Where'd you take her? Like, did you take her like out for a fun birthday meal?" And he goes, "She loves sushi. It's her favorite food." So we, I was like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> "Yo, I want honestly, you see that whole uh, like real cast of characters because they Wait. they also got people to go in the suits and be the captain and be Ronald. Like, I want to throw like a rave I, I and gotta, just have all of those characters. We got to pull this up for the people at home. Pip, yeah. type in Happy Meal, classic plastic submarine. We got to find. I've, I've I have found this before. Oh boy, Pimp." submarine <laughs> just left the b out now keep scrolling down 
There it is. Wait, wait, uh, up. There it is. That's it. Yeah. That seems big. It came in a big plastic, and it and you had stickers, and you put oh, the stickers on the cans are all in that plastic. You know it. Dude, how how could, many cars do you understand? That thing is BPA Pimp. plus. Pimp, make sure you put the picture up, because do you <laughs> under, SS BPA. Do you understand? <laughs> do you understand that you used to go through the drive through McDonald's with your parents? Pimp, the pink one's an even better example of it. You used to go through the drive through McDonald's, and this is what you got. This was your happy meal, and it was filled your head with goodies. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. And it, then you could keep it. Look at it. Look at it unbuilt when you got to put it together. It's really cynical of the hamburger place. <laughs> oh, I love it. It really caused a nationwide epidemic. The characters seem a little ironic to me. A, a burglar, a clown. <laughs> yeah. I just mean like luring children in. It's like it's their version of getting this van. I got candy for you. Jesus, and it, I don't What's know. The Isn't it with you? No, no. I just mean like you, I'm gonna pump. <laughs> I'm gonna pump your kid you? full of saturated fat. Let me put it under the guise of a plastic boat. You know, I mean, I swear we used to, to God. lose our shit. I used to demand McDonald's. I was having McDonald's way more than I should have. We all were. So what? McDonald's brass knows what they were so doing. What? I'm just saying it's a little cynical to lure us in with the toys. Cynical is the wrong word. Okay, it probably is. Uh, underhanded, I would say. Okay, fine. Duplicitous. I would say duplicitous. It's not even. We're, but, we're not even on the same but head. Then, but then they split go hairs. ahead and they name the main character something that you would a face you would make if you taste disgusting food. They're all over Listen, the place. We've been on this for way too long. We right, got to move on here. Right, we you were battle. telling me that you speaking of the battle. You were telling me right before this started. You tell me and pimp that you have turned over a new leaf in your attitude toward this show. Explain. Look, today's battle is pizza versus pasta. We've been holding We've on We've been to holding it. on it for, for months now. Fans have continually asked us to do it. Uh, we honestly came up with this one on our own, and coincidentally, fans have also asked for it. So we know that this one is going to resonate, Here's period, the thing. Like, right? Because we were passionate about it, and then people were also coming up with it and asking for it. Uh, we always, we'll say it right P off the bat. Pizza's not, I think pizza out of pizza. every single episode we've ever done, I'm not sure, and I think this is common, uh, people would agree, not sure that anything would ever be pizza. And so we started yeah. saying, what could be pizza? And I'm really hoping that pasta gives it a run for its money, and, because if you think right. pasta on the whole, that encompasses so much. So we thought pasta had, had a chance, right? But... We both still thought pizza would win. Yeah. However, we both love both. Uh, and we were like, I don't know, man. I could fight for both. And I said before we started today, give me pasta. And Sal said, I'm not trying to push you into taking pasta because it's a guaranteed loss. And I said, I don't care. I want pasta. Let's do this. And he said, oh, snap. Where are you coming from? And I said, my attitude towards the show has changed. If I feel passionate about the food, I just want to fight for it. I don't ever want to take into account anymore that I might lose. I just want to enjoy the fight. <laughs> and, and then and we were like, wait, do you leave here heavy after a loss? I mean, <laughs> no. I, I, no, we, I said, uh, we had you been losing sleep on your record? And you like yes. kind of said you kind of were. <laughs> no, but don't get me wrong. Bit. Sometimes when I have either a really uh, small, like a, a loss by less than a percentage. Yeah. Man, I actually, for the rest of the night, I'm I, I'm pissed. For the rest of the night, yeah. I'm pissed off. Yeah. I have left this apartment wondering if our friendship is in good standing. You texted after the me fights. about that. You yes. talked to your mom about it. I talked to my mom about it. My mom has asked me unprompted about it. Uh, and I don't know if you ever see the comments that some of these fans make, yeah. but people are taking this seriously yeah. and will degrade either one of us yes. as, they uh, as if it's politics or something. Right, 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 right. So, I have a question. Did you think about this in between tacos the other night? No, no, no. no. no I wasn't thinking alone. of anything. I was eating tacos, uh, nine tacos, watching the movie Communion, which is... A Christopher Walken movie where he gets abducted by aliens. Never heard of it. It's, it sounds it's amazing. Great. It's okay. On paper. He's off the, the plantation in this thing. Yeah. A reservation. What's the phrase? <laughs> off the reservation. Both. I think both aren't really. Are offensive now? Well, off the plantation isn't even a thing. Okay. And I understand it sounds like the same cadence that ends in a shun. Okay. But uh, off the reservation, uh, depending he's on who you talk to. He's off the res in this thing. Oh, yeah. But he's, a, uh, he's, he's out of control. But I ate nine tacos while I watched him get like anally probed uh it was an enjoyable night so no i didn't think of much but anyway 
Uh, I saw something you th- you threw in the thing, and I think it'd be a good battle for future um, KFC versus Taco Bell. I like that. Yeah, I love yeah, it. I like that. All right, so we, we we will get to that at some point. But today's battle is pizza versus pasta. Pip, Pip where are we at with time? By the way, okay, we yeah. should get into the battle. Yeah, that's it. All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah. B. Ready? Oh. Ready? B A T T L E buds. There you go. You did it. Perfect. All right. All right. <laughs> you want to start us out? Yeah. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, talk about just general convention. I think that pizza. Oh, can I point one more thing out? Please. Okay. We're about to hit. We're approaching October. We're not there yet, but we're about 11 days out from October. Yeah. 12 days out. Want to squeeze in one more last round of George? Show those games. Next time we record, I think it's going to be too cold for George. Yeah. All right. Oh, you know what? Before I didn't want to keep doing this, but like, have you ever heard of someone call um, a pair of legs a pair of wheels? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Someone told me they never heard that before. I was like, I'm sure of it. Is it on your mind all day? No, but you just pointed to your wheels. <laughs> Um, I see you're wearing the hat. I was with you when you bought that hat out, uh, oh, yeah. in the, on vacation. Yeah, yeah. All right, very nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, it sounds like all we do is fight on my couch and take vacations. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, yeah, I know. Anyway, all right. Okay. Pizza. So, look, there's a reason, right? There's a reason why you, you yourself in your life have probably had the conversation with hundreds of people where people have said they've they've offered up themselves. I mean, nothing beats pizza. I could eat pizza. Right? You have that conversation if you had to eat one food every day. Right. I've had that conversation. I've heard it. I've overheard people saying it. Inevitably, the answer resoundingly always comes back pizza. So I don't think I really like I'm saying anything that anyone would disagree with. I think pizza is probably my favorite food. I think it is because really I've never not wanted a slice of pizza. Not even close for me. I've never been like I have. To I love st- pizza, I have but to not stop close to favorite my, food. I'll tell you. What, I'll tell you this. Every time I have pizza, I'm pumping the brakes. I could eat pizza as if I were a goldfish. I could right. eat myself to pizza death. You understand what I'm saying? I love pizza, and I will go in on pizza as I said earlier about um, Pizza Hut. Uh, or, 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 you know, any one of a dozens and dozens of places in New York City or wherever, or, or in Philly, or near places where I grew up in the suburbs, whatever. That's not the point. It still is not in my, I don't think it makes my top 10 favorite foods, probably my top 20, but not my top 10, to be honest with you. Pizza is not in your top 10? Uh, I'll tell I, you, I think you're the only person on the planet that's not in the top 10. I will go through my top 10 sometime, but... I just told you now I'm going to eat McDonald's twice in a week. Oh, we and, know your number one food is McDonald's. You brought it up on Philly 43 episodes. I can't, I can't, I could go weeks on end without getting pizza. I could go weeks without it. My, my point though is I that. I can't go weeks on end without my favorite foods. I mean, cheese and bread are like two of the, like I, I put bread and butter up against, did we ever do bread and butter? No. I think bread and butter could go up against pizza. That's how good I think bread and butter is. You're, it, I think bread, bread is one of the best things ever made. And I don't mean like sliced bread you buy at the store, but if you ever go to a bakery or have fresh baked bread or hot bread brought out for, at, a good, at a restaurant it's with butter. It's delicious, but they even, can't, it could even, not go against pizza. Even just getting a, a loaf of Italian bread coming home, throwing it in the oven a little bit and put a little bread and butter on there. It's like you could go to school for years and graduate from some a ca- from some, some some crazy institution culinary institution and have a michelin star and make me your best meal and you could put bread and butter in another plate and i'd be like they're as good as each other i i think that's cuz butter is that's butter nuts. is also a, but dude cheese is another thing it's like cheese is and i know that you really don't eat cheese well i eat less cheese these days yeah but you combine those things and then like the acidity and the sweetness of a sauce. And then I'm just talking about a You're regular walking. pizza. But I mean, look, you have tons of pasta on your side, but you you just if you just run the board on the types of pizza, the thin crust, the Chicago style, the Detroit style, the New York style, the crispiness, the the, the coal oven pizza, the brick oven so, pizza. So okay, so Jesus so, Christ, I'll take Ilios in the goddamn toaster oven. So I mean even oh, Ilios, pizza hut, no. First no, of all, that's okay. what I'm saying. Pizza, no. even I mean, so there's, hold a, on. there's a there's a there's a saying about pizza. We all know it. 
Pizza, even bad pizza is okay. That's not even true. Even bad pizza is good. They like it to sex. That is 100. <laughs> they do. That is 100% false, and I will prove it right now. I will say I, I've had bad pizza. I will say. I, I have had. But it's like. Hold on. It's hold hard. On. It's okay. hard. I have had. To get pizza, I have you had, discard. I have had not just bad pizza, horrific pizza. Yeah. Disgusting pizza. Yeah. When pizza is bad. Name names. It is terrible. Ilios right out of the gate. Oh, Ilios but, yeah, stinks. Yeah, but Ilios. All right, I, most of your frozen pizzas stink. 100. A lot of a lot of Chicago deep dish pizzas. Don't go, don't say that about Ilios, bro. It's terrible. I get I get what you mean, but you're telling me there's a time and a place for Ilios. There's a time and place. No, no, no. Baby, you no, big baby. Stouffer's. There's a time and a place that Elio's hits the spot. There's a time. No, it doesn't. Just like when you no, say, I, 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 I need a McNugget. We, we know what a McNugget really is, no. but for some reason, Elio's, Elio's I checks haven't that box. Elio's since I'm, even as in, I'm in college. I'm drunk. I come home and I swing the, the freezer nuts. door open, and there's a box of you're Elio's nuts. in there. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. No. He lives. Jesus no, lives. You're nuts. You're nuts. May, Jesus I, walks. I might do that over Stouffer's French bread, but there's no way I'm doing that over Elio's. Ah, there's no way I'm doing that over a Mama Celeste. There's no way I'm doing it over a Giorno's. I got news for you. The Mama Giorno's. Celeste. It's not delivery. Mama. It's not even the Giorno's. It stinks. It stinks. You think the Giorno stinks? It stinks. Wait, I'm sorry. You think? Wait, Ilios versus the Giorno's. You can. Well, I mean, me. I would eat the Giorno's over the Ilios, but what does that say? But babe, but babe, babe, first of all, I, I mean, you, you can't base the argument against pizza on Ilios. All I'm trying to say is, I'm just saying there's Ilios, a lot of bad pizza for, out for there. For many of us out there, Ilios has a time and place where Ilios is the thing that's going to hit, hit go the to spot. Any one of the, we live in New York City. Go to one of the these go to one of the 99 cent slices places it's it's usually pretty bad go to one of the I chain, still do hold on hold on you've talked for quite a while you've I mean, talked I for just quite started a, and i was know, i was in the no, middle no, no, of no, talking no, about pizza you cut me off you're, going, you're in the middle of talking is like nine minutes by the way that's not true joe not in this <laughs> rewind the tape on the eight minute rounds when you kept talking after because you you took you ate up six of the eight minutes by yourself for talking but let me just tell you this even the chain places that are only in New York, okay, and I won't name names because I don't want to disparage my city, but there are chain places that are local to New York. Even those now, all of a sudden, <laughs> even those places, even those places, the ch you know what I mean, the local chains, they're not that good. It's it's okay, okay, it's okay, it's fine, it's passable. Now you have a set of stones on you that you're going to come in here and think that this bread sauce and cheese concoction can hold a candle to lasagna ravioli my favorite managot rigatoni in a meat sauce spaghetti linguine and clams linguine and clams pasta um. fra diavolo are you out of your mind carbonara if you went if you went to the squid middle, ink, squid ink is a nice one. I mean, if you went to know, the middle have, of nowhere, if you went to the middle of nowhere, this is the last thing I'll say. Then you can speak again. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Hold on, let me just adjust my attitude for where you're bringing this. Okay, okay, let's go, let's yeah. go now because I told you, babe, I, I want to. I'm ready today. Let's go. Yeah, go, go. Let's okay. go. Please talk. Let's okay, go. Yeah. All right. I'm just saying, if you went to a restaurant in the middle of nowhere, let's say. Like you, you were in the depths of 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 Wyoming, right? Yeah, because this is relatable to people. No, no. Let's just say, let's just say, yeah. okay, a place not known for pizza. Let's yeah. put it that you're, way. You're calling out something like Ray's Pizza. There's a hundred locations in Manhattan and saying it sucks, but then you're like, put yourself in my shoes. You're in the middle of the woods in Wyoming, but you're not. You don't know where I'm going with okay, this. Please, you're in the middle of Wyoming. Let's say, okay. You go to a restaurant. They go. We got two dishes here. We got pizza. We got pasta. Which would you like? You know you're going with that pasta. You know there's no way in hell you're rolling the dice on that Wyoming no, pizza. No, I don't know if I'm dealing with that pasta. Bullshit. I mean, dude, I could make pizza right now. I go downstairs, get a pizza. Get a Here we go. Here we go. Every week. Every week. I could, I could go no, downstairs no, no. and do this right all now. All I mean go is. Ahead, really? All yeah. I mean is. All I mean is. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I love a bare bottom. Hey, folks, I like to joke. <laughs> but you know what I mean by that? I mean a bare bottom article of clothing. Yeah, bare, bare bottom. bottom clothing is the go-to for guys looking to update their wardrobe with high quality and made-to-last threads without dishing out a small fortune. It's I, the internet's best deal yeah. on high quality, versatile men's wear. 
They've got over 10,000 five-star reviews, so you know they're not messing around. People, I think when it comes to stuff like this, reviews are a good thing to read. Uh, and 10,000 five-stars, don't lie. Designed to transition from the couch to the gym, this clothing is for work and play or whatever you like to do. Giving back also is at the core of what Bare Bottom does. Isn't that nice? They've donated over 100,000 pairs of shoes I'm sorry. Yes, they donate. They donated over 100,000 pairs of shorts to children in need. Uh, and starting this summer, they'll be donating a school lunch for every single item sold. Wow. I love the company. I love the quality of the product of the company. I wear it. I have a lot of it. And I am not just reading this saying to get it. I think you'll really like it. They have a wide variety of clothes. Everything is soft, durable, like it feels good. The cuts are really nice in it. I like the way they cut the pants and the shorts. The shorts are above the knee. It's just, I would check it out. If anything, I would at least yeah. check it out guys and uh, right now our listeners get free shipping on the first order of these su super comfortable threads at barebottomclothing.com with the code taste buds uh, just go to bare bottom clothing and that's bare like b-e-a-r like the animal bottomclothing.com and use taste buds to get free shipping on your first order amazon music coming to the dance with more than 10 million free podcast episodes to listen to, including this one. Amazon isn't just for listening to podcasts. Uh, am fuck. I'm just going to start it over, Pim. Sorry. All right, yeah, do you think? Amazon Music is coming to the dance with 10 million free podcast episodes to listen to, including ours. But... Not just for listening to podcasts. They have thousands of music stations and top playlists to stream. This is the important part. For free. No matter what you're listening to, you can even go hands-free with Alexa. Just get the app and enjoy free listening anywhere on all your favorite devices. No credit card. No subscription required. I just downloaded the app. I was listening to music and podcasts immediately. Uh, if you've never tried Amazon Music, what are you waiting for? Uh, you know, everyone knows all the other popular music apps, but they're taking money from you every single month. So you're going to love Amazon Music as much as we do. We're sure of it. Start listening for free today. Head over to Amazon.com slash Taste Buds. That's Amazon. Maybe you heard of it. Dot com slash Taste Buds to stream thousands of music stations and over 10 million podcast episodes because Bezos is a big podcast fan. He watches Taste Buds. Jeff, if you're listening, and we know that you are, thank you for free. Amazon.com slash taste buds. Uh, uh, English muffin. Like, if you have a, you know, a jar of sauce, man, a nice jar of Rayo sauce, shout yeah. out Rayo's, uh, a nice bag of shredded part skim mozzarella, and even an English muffin. I go downstairs, I have the three hallmark ingredients. I toast an English muffin, throw a little sauce and cheese sure. on it, throw it in the oven for five minutes. That is delicious. Sure. That is pizza. Yeah. And That's you, how and you also pizza just, is. But you also just pick the ingredients yourself. I'm talking when you are at the mercy of yeah, another person. It might be bad crust. It. I know, but I'm also scared of what's in that pasta. Because what's you, in it? What, just the same stuff. In the pizza crust. Just a sauce and a pasta, and that's it? If they okay, said, so, if they said we got a, to me. If they said we've got a thing of craft uh, 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 Parmesan cheese that comes in the green tube, right? And the, they said we got a box of mama, whatever the hell it is, spaghetti, okay? And we boiled it, and we got some ragu in the back. I'm the taking pizza. that. I would take that over the, the, the dice roll pizza any day of the week because that pizza, there is so much that can go wrong. I'll tell you another thing with pizza. Pizza is one of the only foods I can think of where if it gets bad, it gets terrible, and if it gets too good, it gets terrible. Pizza, <laughs> pizza if you go too far in the artisan direction, it stinks. It stinks. Dinks. Somebody comes out and goes, well, we've got a caramelized raspberry reduction on this pizza, and we've got a candied mushroom. It, well, when it no longer becomes pizza, that's fine. But that's not truly really true because there's a market for that. And I, I, I've had good artisanal pizza. But look, Where? dude. But dude and if I'm in Wyoming, Where? I'm going for the pizza. Many places. If Where? I'm in Wyoming, I'm going for that pizza. Where? I'm not going for ragu and, and boxed pasta. What You're going to get the same ragu on the pizza, and it's going to be worse on the pizza than it is on the pasta. Why That's am my I point. arguing about a small town side of the road restaurant that has a menu with two items on it? Take it to global. There's a reason take why. Take it to a global thing. There is a reason why. There is a reason why. Hear what I'm about to say to you. There is a reason why you could go to almost any state in this great land of ours and find multiple great Italian restaurants. And why, when it comes to pizza, there's 
four neighborhoods you can go to to get it. You can go to New York. You can go to Philly. You can go to Chicago. And yeah, maybe Detroit. Yeah, yeah. I, I know that those Detroit, are the places that, that that like conventionally have the best pizza to us. But I'm just saying, like, you can drop me. You can. Gr- I could be walking down the street. Somebody could drive up slow in a van. Somebody opens the van. They club me in the back of the head. They throw something over my head. They kidnap me. They bring me somewhere. I just hear a lot of hustle, rustling, and bustling. I don't move because I don't want to. I don't know what exactly what's going on. And I don't want to stoke anything and wind up dead. So I don't say anything. I take a 10 hour ride with these people. I hear the conversation. I listen for clues in case I, I can make a break and I can call the police. Okay. Okay. But I just take the ride and they end up dumping me somewhere. I roll out. I'm famished. I, I love this story hydrated. so far. I, I love that money. you've been clubbed and dumped already. Yeah. I love it. Okay. All of a sudden I hear tires screech. I'm still, no one's around. I feel fit that I could take the burlap sack off my head. I'm starving. I don't even know where I am. I'll Google pizza and have it delivered to me wherever they drop me no matter what doesn't that you're, say something to you wrong. about pizza you're wrong i don't mean the fact you know that how i'm many... saying pizza is available everywhere at all Hands hours down. fine what's that the, doesn't what's mean the it's number, good what's the number that one thing what's the number one thing that you think and i will tell you this let me finish <laughs> What's the number one you think? Let's. What's the number one thing you think worldwide, cumulatively in the history of time, that has been delivered the most to people's homes? Think about that. More people. Over, milk. No. Milk. Wrong. Milk. More, more people. Milk. More people in the world today than anything else have had the desire so what? to be like. Pick up that phone. I need somebody to Hold bring me pizza. Hold on a second, but I will tell you something. You are right. The pizza is the most deliverable food, and it is the most available food at all times. And be, you know what? Because of that, I have never been burned more with a food tasting like crap than pizza. You know how many years I've been on the road doing comedy, and I've sat in a hotel room at 2 a.m., and the only option was a pizza place in some state that wasn't good at pizza, awesome. and I ordered it, and I was sitting there going, I just spent $25, and I ate three bites of this and it's disgusting Uh, americans eat approximately 100 acres of pizza each day (laughs) 350 slices a second 36% 36% of all pizza orders want their pizza. That's what I was going to say. I'll take you back to Snickers' so, Kit Kat, babe. Uh, Don't get arrogant because oh, yeah. Snickers runs the world and they lost to Kit Kat. Uh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. But all I'm saying is you keep talking about how you got burned on the side of a road and when you were doing no, stand-up. No, no, no. You were on the side of the road. I you, was you, in a hotel. No, no. But I mean a hotel a on the side city. of the road. Yeah. A hotel on the side of the road. Well, well no. On a regular road. Maybe a major thoroughfare. Wherever you are, if yeah. you're getting burned with the pizza, you're getting burned with the pasta. That's not true. Yes, it is. That's not true. Yes, it is. That's not true. Don't, don't don't give me the argument that no, you're getting pizza no, no. roadside in a in a midwestern town no. in a hotel no. on the side of the road. No. Of course it's gonna suck. No. So's the pasta. No. I've been burned by pasta. You think I haven't been burned by pasta? You think I'll I've... take my shirt off, show you all the burns. <laughs> Michael Scarn says, is it time we seriously consider putting Joe into an assisted living center if he, sh- if he chose pasta, which I know damn well he did? The answer is clear. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. I would like to tell that, that you. That is like already a contender for I, win. I would like to tell you that pizza, when I say it's my favorite food, I swear to you, if, if you're not talking like, I, I've said more times out loud and when asked this question, even in interviews publicly, ravioli is actually my favorite food, you know? And I can eat ravioli every day. So I, I am there with you on pasta, but it's not going to be I mean, we're not even, oh my God, we didn't even get into what you can put into the raviolis. You can <laughs> stuff them with lobster. You think lobster's going on a pizza? I'm sure it has. Uh, I, I'm sure it has. I mean, I'm the sure pizza's it's been stunk. topped with everything. You know what's so I'm funny? Sure it's I love that you just made the argument that when you try to do put too much, introduce too much to a pizza, it's terrible. And then you're like, but I can't even tell you what you could do with a pasta. And then it's a strength for a because pasta? Because it sucks. Yes. Because lobster on pizza sucks. Lobster and ravioli is amazing. Pizza yes. Pizza party. Yeah, pizza party. By the way. Children have them. You know the term? Have look them. at this. The Offices term. have Here's them. a little history. The term is based in violent racial division, splitting most American lockups. So once what? again, you're on the side of the racist what? elite. What? Once again. What does that even mean? According <laughs> to the Associated Press, last week Allen was charged with solicitation of first degree murder in part thanks to. Inve- oh, wow. This was a specific pizza party. Oh, you I thought. Idiot. You idiot. I'm you just idiot. thought that the term pizza party caused a huge racial divide? I'm the idiot? It's just that something broke out of the well, pizza party. What the hell party. did Pimp bring it up for? 
I just brought up the word pizza party. Yeah, he just highlighted it. <laughs> what constitutes it, no, a pizza party? You know, I, honestly, dude. I, <laughs> what, no, what right kind, here. No, that's, it's, it's, it's people the question on the Google. It's people and pizza. I'm just saying it was a question, so I asked <laughs> what it. What constitutes a pizza party? A pizza party is a social gathering at which people <laughs> bring pizza. Now, dude, I'll give you this. Come on, dude. I'll give you this. Uh, honestly, dude, I'll I'm, give you I'm this. Turn, I'm tur- my birthday's coming up in the fall. I would love to come for you to come to my pasta party. I know. Said no one. Uh, yeah. Guess what? Guess what? Never been a kid's book named after pizza. Plenty of kid's books. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> That's not possible. All right. Lady That's in the Tramp. The most famous <laughs> Disney scene of all time. Spaghetti between those pooches. <laughs> when they eat a slice of Sicilian. <laughs> Spaghetti between those pooches. <laughs> no one fantasizes about being a pasta delivery boy in those adult films. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I haven't. Even, I delivered pizza, by the way, for five so years. Did I, babe, and pasta because we had both. Right? Okay, okay. <laughs> but you're a pizza delivery guy. I mean, that pizza boy comes in. Honestly, dude, I'll just say this. I'll just. I'll commit. I'll put one horse in the race. You tell me what beats a beautiful. I mean, a well-made. And the crust. Oh, the crust. Here's, here's, here's the, what here, beats a pepperoni pizza? Here's the coffin shut, okay? Here's the coffin shut on the argument, right? I've been to Rome. Have you been to Rome? No. I've been to I'm, Italy. I'm really asking. No, okay. I have not. All right. I've been <laughs> to Rome. You mean what the version of Italian pizza is? Is that what you're going to hit No, no, with? no. Oh. I, I've been to Rome. Uh, I had the best food I've ever had in my life in Rome. Every night, pasta was part of that. Every single night. Not one of the wonderful restaurants we went to offered pizza as a dish. And when we got pizza at pizza places in Rome, it was mediocre at best. I agree, because but that pasta pizza is different. Pasta is the king. I'm talking about American, like American, like West, like our pizza. Like over there, they, they it's 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 a tra- traditionally done. I mean, we're not it's even like a ro- talking it's like about like tomatoes like- on it. But of course, if you go to Rome, the pasta is going to be amazing. The best pasta I've ever had has been in Italy as well. Sure, but I'm but, but the polls are open to worldwide, hon. Okay, I've been to Italian restaurants from guys that came over from Italy that that own and operate these places, and they'll say, "Do you want? Do you trust me? Do you want to go off the menu?" You say, "Yeah." Not once have they ever surprised me with an amazing pizza that you got to try. It's so good. No, but they'll bring out they'll bring out a bison ragu pasta or something like that that's amazing and incredible with homemade noodles in it a bison ragu pasta is what he's putting up against pepperoni pizza bison ragu have you had a bison po- have you had a bison i'm ragu? sure it's fine but i wouldn't have fine? gone there i wouldn't have gone fine there. A, a, a light red sauce with bison Let, let's talk about making it are you kidding let's me talk about even the process of it the, oh, the, dude don't the, even get pizza it is don't romantic, even come near me babe don't. you slap it you get it in the flour you did toss you just it in say, the air did you it's s- an art form it's fun you take the ladle you, just- you sprinkle the cheese on you put it in the oven you take it out i love the process of making pizza Listen. pots you gotta dip. You gotta sit there. You gotta flatten it. You gotta cut it. You gotta hang it. You gotta wait. My picture is on the wall of the Collegeville Bakery and Deli in Collegeville, Pennsylvania, where I grew up. They do pizzioli of the day when celebrities come in and eat. I am hanging on that wall with the likes of Ric Flair, sir. I have put a pizza into the oven that other folks I'm have hanging on the wall of Joe's Pizza. Oh, so what? Joe's. I'm tired of hearing about Joe's. New York Institution. I'm sick of hearing about. I'm on the Williamsburg branch. (laughs) Bespoke Post is here to take your adventures to the next level. Whatever season you're adventuring in, uh, they're partnering with small businesses and emerging brands to bring you the most unique goods every month. Let's let's talk about what Bespoke Post is. It's a subscription-based service mm-hmm. that monthly sends you really awesome items. As a matter of fact, it's called a box of awesome right. that you help curate. And you basically the boxes are cost about forty-five bucks, but you end up getting like well over seventy bucks worth of gear and chachis and really fun things. There's things from you know weekend bags to knives to to lotions I have and my, creams I have my overnight bag they sent me with me today yeah because i stayed with you last night 100 yeah yeah quite romantically i might add it's cool you go to a uh, box of awesome.com and take this quiz and they helped like those answers help you create what they're going to yeah. send you they release new boxes every month across so many different categories it's free to sign up you can even skip 
or cancel at any single time. Right. So you don't have to worry that you sign up and then it's going to come every month no matter what. You can choose to pause if you want to. Uh, of course, our listeners are going to get 20% off their first monthly box mm-hmm. when they sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter our code TASTEBUDS Taste at checkout. Mm-hmm. It's very easy. That's boxofawesome.com. Code taste buds for twenty percent off your first box. I love this kind of thing. This is subscription based stuff. When it comes each month and it's different and it's new, it's feel like it feels like a little little mini Christmas every month. I agree. Thank you, Bespoke, and happy holidays. This is mandatory, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, the whole section is mandatory. Okay, babe, I went ahead and ordered a Peloton. Comes tomorrow. I heard. No joke. I heard. Peloton Plus. I heard. Nice big screen. I heard. I get to work out at home now. Look, I I belong to a gym. Do I want to go? Do I need to build up the motivation to go? Yes. Do I go often? No. I... Every friend I have raves about the Peloton. They became a sponsor, and it just kicked me into high gear. I placed an order for one. I am so excited for when it comes tomorrow. They have stuff that I think will motivate me. I'm going to be ordering one soon. Uh, you know, like most New Yorkers, I don't live in the biggest apartment. You need a two-by-four space for it to fit. Yeah, it's unbelievable. As, well, that's the beauty of it. So yeah. as soon as I move one uh, one piece of furniture out of my apartment, I will be ordering my Peloton because you, it will fit in that small space. That's great. And you're not going to feel like you're alone. That's the whole key to Peloton. You can do curated playlists, curated instructors. Yeah. Uh, you can... There's 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 all different groups you could join. You could, you could work out at the same time with friends. You know, you can revisit the same... The, the instructors you love... It's high energy. There's all sorts of cool paths and things you could watch. You don't just have to be on the bike. You could turn the, the screen to the side. You could take yoga classes. You could do weight training. You could train with bands. I'm super excited to get it. I feel like it's going to be the beginning of my transformation into I really hope to look like, uh, you know, um, a young Tommy Davidson. He had washboard abs. If you Google it, he uh, really did have great abs. I know. Yeah, Uh, I'm excited to get one of these too. Every one of my friends that has one says it's been life changing for them, and I love home i like to do things at home things are better at home so uh i'm all excited about peloton and i have tried them uh, and i and i've enjoyed it very much and i look forward to making one a part of my everyday life with the peloton bike there's nothing like working out from home learn more at onepeloton.com new members can try peloton classes free for 30 days just by going to onepeloton.com slash A-P-P. Terms to apply. That's O-N-E-P-E-L-O-T-O-N dot com. I'm sick of hearing about Joe's. I put a pizza in an oven. If you're going to sit here and tell me making pasta is not romantic, I love it, but- on the table, stringing it out with the flour, cutting it. I mean, this is moonstruck. You're talking to me about dominoes. I'm talking to you about Nick Cage and Cher in love. Do you understand what we're talking about here? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. And I'll go back to my point before. I like pasta, but inevitably, at every pasta dish I've eaten, I'm like... I can't eat anymore. Oh, yeah, because pizza, you just light on your feet afterwards. No, no. What I'm saying is, yeah. though, with pizza, my brain do- always wants it. I have to overcome my brain, and I have to stop myself from eating pizza. Pasta, I could do. Pasta, I'm on autopilot. I'm like, that was delicious, but I've had too much pasta. The pizza, I'm always like, get that. I mean, I, am I going to I want another slice. I want another slice. And I have to literally force myself to stop eating pizza. <laughs> Even when I'm full, I want to see what some of the fans have to say. Let's let's do we, it. we were uh, let's go to the phones, Pip. Where are we at? I like this one. <laughs> They're both incredible, but you shouldn't eat either on a first date. Not a bad not a bad call by a bed. I think has yeah. You get said. the itis for sure. All right, go into let's go to the phones, Pip. Yeah, let's you see what the really phone. argue the t- difference in texture between the two. I feel like that's the hard. Also, of the work, the texture, Listen to me, the work. Yeah, I want to like, double. I'm not done wait, here. What do you, I'm wait, not wait, done wait, wait, here. wait, 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 wait. I want to. Hear what, what do you mean? What do you mean the like texture? The pizza's crispy. It's a crispy vehicle with it. This pasta is sloppy. But that's the thing. Pizza, a lot of the time, is not crispy. It's chewy and mushy, and it stinks. Well, every time, you're a wet, droopy noodle. Every (laughs) time. You're a wet, droopy noodle. You know what? Pasta don't want to hear that, but that's what pasta is.
Texture, oh. I, you, you, you got you got nothing over texture. You cut down through a lasagna with those layers and the, 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 the regatta cheese, meaning you the mozzarella a- cheese with the sauce and the noodles. You got nothing on texture. Are you insane? Pizza is based around texture. I got a very crispy, beautiful crust topped with a hot, gooey, delicious cheese and the sauce in between to bring it all together. You ever pick up a pizza slice that's a triangle that's this big and it doesn't flop? That's texture all the way, babe. I'm biting into that. That crispiness is what I live for. I cannot for. even remember the last time I picked up a slice of pizza and it didn't fly. John Travolta, Saturday Night Fever, babe. New York all the way. Two slices in one with the fold. Yeah. I, it's, oh, fun. Yeah. it's even fun to eat yeah. pizza. I don't want to do work. You mean work. the movie where the guys are terrible people? Okay, Leah. Yeah, let's, I mean yeah, the let's, iconic let's go scene into, of a legend. Let's go eat the terrible people food, everybody. Yeah. Let's go eat the terrible people food. No, you know what? I, much like that movie, when I eat pasta that's terrible, I want to jump off the bridge as well listen to me pasta makes you work to eat it i gotta put on a bib i'm I, i'm not wearing a i'm not wearing a white shirt or a nice shirt when i'm eating pasta i gotta put on a bib and then also what do i gotta do i, I need a, a spoon and a fork and i gotta get it into the plate oh, and then i gotta get it, it makes you work you don't know how to eat it makes you work you don't know how to eat pizza, i don't need any of these pizza, things when i eat pasta like, just your hands. All right, you so pick so, it up. So it's more. And you put it in your it's mouth. It's more convenient. It's more convenient. Well, I'm just, which is probably I'm just, why this country is an obesity issue. Okay, just, because people can get pizza. The 300 miles right. of pizza people are eating every day. Right. They can eat it while they walk. you right. Instead of having to sit down like a human being and eat and a cut bowl it with of a knife pasta. and fork. I need a bowl of pasta. Right. That's why. And yeah, no one's gaining maybe, weight. No one's gaining away from the bowl hey, of pasta. Hey, guy. Maybe stop and breathe while you eat. Nope. I'm gonna keep on moving. Okay. Uh, Go for it, buddy. I, 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 right. want, I want to have to twirl every pasta in a spoon and then get it to my... Listen, I like it. Pizza, you just pick it up, you throw it in your mouth. It's it's communal. You're not sharing your pasta with anyone else. Pizza shares... Like, I've had memories that are tied to pizza. You got Do you multiple- have memories that are tied to pasta? Are you nuts? My whole family Sunday Sunday pasta dinners, uh, Sunday Sunday that's, gravy. That's it's generic. When I'm, it, that's not I, generic. I'm talking about specific, like oh that party I had. Uh, that that's we had not generic. Things. Some of my best memories are around the table with my family eating pasta and gravy, homemade from scratch. I don't remember any time I ate pizza with my okay, family. Okay, you said earlier that pizza and pasta are usually, especially here, available on the same menu in pizzerias, right? When you get pizza, when you when you call a pizzeria, let's just call it a pizzeria. When you call a pizzeria to get delivery to your house, the last ten times, how many times were those deliveries for pasta, and how many times were your last ten deliveries for pizza? They were always for pizza. Why would I call a pizzeria for pasta? Because they bring you a delicious plate of pasta, hot that you could eat in your house, and right. you get this thing that you're telling if me I that you love. If I want pasta, I've got a million choices of, of of restaurants in New York City to choose from. No, 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 no. You're not. You're not ordering pasta from a restaurant in New York City. Do whatever the that hell has I want. Pasta on it with a hundred other things. You know damn well, like no, I do, what when I just someone said. orders pasta, that's they not order what I just it from said. a pizzeria. No, they do not. I, yes, I, they no, do. No, when I order pasta, I order it from an Italian restaurant. I don't get it from a pizzeria. Okay, Brenda and Eddie. Uh, okay, okay. 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 Pete Ray says pizza. It's not even close to a competition. Pizza is the ultimate food that everyone can enjoy. All the best ideas in the world were made by people sitting around eating a pizza. What, what is this nonsense? Get out of here, Ray. All right, pimp. Let's go to the phones. We got to wrap this up. All right. Uh, look, before we do, I just want to say SalVolcanoComedy.com for my tour dates. Uh, Austin 924, Denver 925, Baltimore October 1st, Durham October 29th. Everything's on sale right now, uh, and another 60 cities will be announced. But get those uh, get those tickets. Come see me, Joe DeRosa Comedy. <laughs> on Instagram and Twitter, Joey Rose is opening on the Lower East Side of New York yeah, very soon. Very, very soon. Uh, big announcements coming for that. And I started booking road dates for 2022. So going to go out on the road again. Uh, I don't want to announce the dates just yet because tickets aren't available. But let's sell out these shows and let's have a good time out there. Quick tag. I also am fully on the road with the guys. That tour is announced and on sale. is 50 cities. Tenderloins.com for tickets. All right. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Powerhouse Battle Alert. Oh, and check out my other podcast. We'll see you in hell. Patreon.com. Yeah, because this w- one's going down in flames because he can't even. Patreon.com. Can I, can I finish my plug? Yeah, please. Sorry, I didn't step please. on your tenderloins. Three minute plug. Talk about the uh, talk about the <laughs> talk about. Hey, Patreon, I, I'm, 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 I'm breaking your balls. Talk about the podcast where you don't take L's consistently. Go ahead. <sighs> Listen to this bitch. 
Listen to this bitch, patreon.com slash W-S-Y-I-H podcast. Okay. Go ahead, serve Wait, him no, no, no. Let's read a couple comments before we look at the... I'm waiting for you to get people. served. I'm waiting for you to get when served. I was in ki- All right, slow down, Pimpy. And not pasta either. No matter who loses, Italy wins. Also, shout out to Carbs. Shout out Carbs. I guess so. So that bit is just part of our show now, too. <laughs> shout out to... Yeah. I think it's a, a no pressure thing. Okay, no pressure. I'm sure right. we said it. So can I start saying it, too? Uh, my goodness, yeah. Okay. No, I, I, I didn't want to bite your shit. I don't want to trade my... What do you mean? We're in the same podcast. All right. But I'm saying it was a hey babe bit. Uh, I think it was just a... It, it's not wait, a... Wait, wait. It's Pimp. Slow down. I say shout slow out down. all the time. Pimpy, slow down, so, babe. Trying to find good ones. It's here. only a hey right, babe right, bit because right. I say it. The uh, Nobody... Okay, Pimpy, go ahead. I trust you. I'm sorry. Did I snap? I didn't mean to snap. No, no, no. You're good. No, no, no. Pizza is life. I couldn't eat it for bre- I could eat it for lunch, bre- breakfast. That's lunch, true. Dinner. That's true. That's a pizza, good point. Pizza you could have for every meal and be happy. I love cold pizza. I used to bring the pizza home and have it. Cold pizza. We didn't even talk about cold pizza. Yes, we did. I talked about it with Pizza Hut. I love cold pizza. All right. Uh, I love pizza, but I take pizza all the time. Wife swears I'm part Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtles. Uh, and I'm eating pasta out I mean, in those I'm going to get clobbered the here. Turtles are, the Turtles ain't eating pasta out in them <laughs> sewers. Yeah. Congrats. Wow. Well, I guess we thought pasta would be a good... Uh, I'm waiting to see what this is because I thought... Pizza's going to win. I thought it would be close, but is this a landslide? Then we, then we, then we misjudged pasta. The audacity pasta. of this poll. It's, oh, that's not a good sign. And what should go against pizza? I don't... Let's Bye. just see. Our winner is... Who was the kid that wrote the... We already read his name. French fries? No, I didn't read his handle, though. No. Oh, you know what? Do me a favor, guys, in this one. Sound off in the comments. What do Uh, you think could go up against pizza? Let us know what you think could take pizza. Could be my revisit. Maybe maybe we'll revisit. Uh, Let's do a tie for this week. I love burnt pizza. Michael Scarn. uh, Follow Michael Scarn at L-A-N-U-N-Z-1-7. For his comment about me going to the nursing home, so let's let's give him a win, and then let's also give a tie win, our first ever tie. Who was the other comment that we really laughed hard at? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The the uh, and then also follow Robert at ice, i c e d o u t t h u g, uh, iced out thug. Uh, follow <laughs> them both. <laughs> he couldn't understand what that said at first. All right, make sure you go follow Iced Out Thug. <laughs> oh, oh my god oh my lord I, yeah. I actually feel bad I'm not even gonna gloat I thought that this was going to be I thought it would be a I little thought, closer I thought you were gonna be a contender I really did I swear to Christ well, I was a contender I fought a great fight <laughs> yeah, I can't help yeah. what these Philistines voted on the poll <laughs> 13 <laughs> 13,000 votes thus far you got pizza humble pie pimp throw up the uh, the meter here 74.1% pizza to twenty five point nine percent pasta, but we misjudged twelve thousand. We misjudge votes. how people feel about pasta, huh? Or yeah. did we just misjudge how fervent people are about That's pizza? What you misjudged here. That's what you misjudged. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. That's our show. How about that? Yeah. How about that? Well, I don't know if I still love you. <laughs> yes, you do. I thought you were going to say I don't know if I love you either. No. <laughs> how dare you? Don't do that to me. Be a sport. I. Be a sport. I just said I'm not even going to gloat. I felt bad for you. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead what? Say the line. All right, but don't be putting pillow points in my face. I still love you. Still love you, too. <laughs> Taste buds. They come into the mic. Talking about the food they hate. Talking about the food they like. Two fools going to fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds. Man, yeah, they come into the mic. I'm talking taste buds.